Dark matter remains undoubtedly one of the biggest mysteries of modern cosmology. It's postulated to be a form of matter that is not visible. Despite its invisibility, the existence of dark matter inhabits a central role in the models of experts. In fact, the basic motion patterns of visual matter in the universe can be explained solely by the presence of this invisible force. In today's video, we'll cover the theories that exist about the nature of dark matter and what our state of knowledge is regarding this mysterious form of matter. Never want to miss one of our videos on the topic of the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and activate notifications to come with us on our journey through the endless expanses of the universe. The Invisible Pillar of Support Visible matter, including stars, atoms, planets, and other detectable entities, accounts for only about 5% of the total matter in the universe. According to our current knowledge, the rest is currently still an invisible mystery. Thus, researchers assume that about 25% of our galactic home consists of dark matter. The universe is in turn completed by dark energy. Although dark matter plays an essential role in the natural constellations of the universe, scientists are currently unable to prove its existence directly. This is because dark matter does not interact with light. Therefore, researchers rely within their theories exclusively on those apparent effects dark matter exerts on visible matter in the universe. Scientists agree on the fact that the gravity exerted by the provable mass of the galaxies would not be enough alone to hold together these galactic structures. Consequently, there must be another form of matter in the vastness of space, which generates the gravity required for this purpose. According to this, the stars and celestial bodies would not exist in coherent formations without the existence of dark matter, but would be scattered across the entire universe. This would also mean in the end that galaxies in general could not exist without dark matter. In other words, this means nothing more than that our planetary system would not exist at all without the influence of this invisible force. Specifically, the law of gravitation and Kepler's third law state that the rotation speed of stars should decrease the farther they are from the center of their galaxy. This is because the visible mass in galaxies is always concentrated inward. The measurements of researchers showed, however, that the orbital velocities of those stars far from the center do not decrease, but rather remain the same or even increase. This puzzling circumstance, which does not agree with usual laws, suggests therefore that in the universe an incomparably influential mass must exist, one not present just in the form of stars, gases, or dust, namely dark matter. Despite these apparently detectable effects that dark matter exerts on structures in the universe, its existence is not yet considered, however, completely proven. However, since galactic dynamics cannot be explained without the existence of this ominous force, dark matter has the status of a postulated form of matter. The experts see the existence of dark matter in their cosmological models as a given, although direct proof has not yet been furnished as of yet. History of Research The fundamental knowledge we currently possess about the nature of dark matter looks back on a long history of research. In the early 1930s, the Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky observed that the coma cluster, which is composed of more than 1,000 individual galaxies, could not possibly be held together by the gravitational forces of its detectable components alone. Within his research, Zwicky came to the realization that 400-fold more matter would be necessary to explain the gravitational connectedness of the galaxy cluster. The thesis purported that the mass that seemed to be missing at first sight could exist in truth in the form of dark matter, but this was rejected at the time by most experts. Some years later, Australian astronomer Ken Freeman determined that gas moves across larger distances with the same speed as it does around galaxies, although in these larger areas only little matter is visible, which could cause the circumstance. The expert Vera Rubin recognized in the 60s that the rotation speed of stars in the galaxy regions far from the center 
is much higher than the theoretical models predicted. It was then that the hypothesis about the presence of dark matter was taken seriously by the rest of the scientific community. As a result of the surveys of large galaxy clusters, this groundbreaking theory was further supported since the experts also recognized that the present mass concentration could not be produced by visible matter alone. Will dark matter prove itself? Since dark matter, as already mentioned, is still just a postulated form of matter, experts are working diligently to furnish direct proof of the existence of this invisible force. Within these efforts, scientists are using different approaches. For example, some researchers consider it likely that so-called weakly interacting massive particles represent the basic building blocks of dark matter in order to track down these particles, which are referred to as WIMPs in the scientific community. Some scientists are carrying out special investigations in the Italian underground laboratory Gran Sasso. This underground location is so well suited for the endeavor because the researchers can carry out their galactic search there without the disturbing influence of cosmic rays. Experts here are looking at the extent to which phonon excitation is associated with the simultaneous creation of photons. However, the phonon-photon detection method is not the only one used by scientists in the study of dark matter. In 2014, for example, various scientific teams discovered a previously unknown spectral line of X-rays in distant galaxies. The scientists hope to use this spectral line to draw important conclusions about the natural characteristics of dark matter. In fact, there has been a theory among experts for a long time that dark matter particles could decay and emit X-rays. To the researcher's chagrin, however, it seems in the end that the spectral line discovered a few years ago has a different origin and is not due to the influence of dark matter. Despite this, experts hold to the thesis that the decay of dark matter particles is accompanied by a measurable X-ray signature. Search for Composition One of the most pressing questions facing scientists deals with the composition of dark matter. Since a direct proof of this form of matter has not yet been offered, experts must rely here once again on the most diverse hypotheses. Thus, some experts consider that dark matter could be a baryonic form of matter unknown up to now. Baryons are subatomic particles with relatively large masses. In the case of visible matter, these include protons and neutrons. A baryonic dark matter thesis follows the approach that the nature of dark matter is to be looked for in cold gases. Since hot gases naturally emit radiation, only their cold counterparts would remain for the composition of dark matter. This theory becomes, however, disputable with the fact that cold gases can heat up under certain accompanying circumstances. Moreover, even gigantic gas assemblies would not be able to muster the total mass necessary to explain the gravitational constellations. Hypothetical cold dust clouds are also among the possible candidates when it comes to the question of dark matter composition. Because of their low intrinsic temperatures, cold dust clouds would not emit radiation, again making them virtually invisible to terrestrial researchers. However, the theoretical dust formations would reflect incoming starlight, allowing them to be detected at least in the infrared range. Other hypotheses, in turn, move away from the common structure of matter and seek the origin of dark matter in a non-baryonic form. Physicists Chu Man Ho and Robert Scherer put forward Majorana fermions as potential carriers of invisible matter. These particles have a tire-like structure. This structure, in turn, leads to the fact that an electric field in such a torus remains circularly closed so that it cannot be detected externally. For a long time, scientists suspected that dark matter was composed of neutrinos. These electrically neutral elementary particles have a very low mass and are divided into three different types within the scientific community. However, the latest findings state that the total mass of neutrinos is not sufficient to account for the observed gravitational phenomena in galaxies. The theory of cold dark matter is again based on the existence of the already briefly mentioned WIMPs. However, those elementary particles, supposed to be influenced exclusively by a weak interaction and their gravity, have not yet been observed at all. This thesis of cold dark matter experienced a galactic damper some years ago, 
when astronomical investigations brought the realization that the distribution and luminosity of satellite galaxies did not agree with the predicted cold dark matter models. Thus, astonishingly many positrons were proven for particle energies with values of over 10 electron volts. However, these are the antiparticles of electrons. A possible explanation for this positron surplus could be the annihilation of colliding dark matter particles. Theoretically, however, pulsars could also be the source. So experts hope to get to the bottom of the mystery once and for all with the help of the continuously augmented data. What are your thoughts on the ominous dark matter still veiled from the direct view of science? Write us your opinion, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's video in the comments. Please also have a look at the other videos on our channel, which we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you soon.